The story of Good Girls is about two sisters. You meet them in their um, middle life and you flash back and you realise they had a really tough, unusual childhood and they've fallen out as grown-ups. And the story is the unravelling of why that happened and then how they resolve it. At the centre of those difficulties was a man and it is all done with, but the book centres on this man making a reappearance in their lives. And it's like throwing a pebble into a pond. It sends out these ripple effects uh, over which they have no control. And the plot just gallops along with that momentum behind it. And uh, I don't want to do any spoiler alerts, but things do not end up as you expect that they will. The idea of the plot, actually, was I'm really interested in how we present ourselves online, which is kind of uh, pertinent to our times. And uh, I used to warn my children, you know, be careful because you have this online persona and be aware that people are going to be responding to that and be sure how much of it is you and how much of it isn't you. And the idea of the plot was based on that. And I thought, how interesting if somebody was emailing somebody and thinking it wasn't the person they were talking to. So it was about using identity, really, um, mistaken identity online. But then through that, I wanted two people to connect absolutely. So although they're not who they believe each other to be, their connection and how they communicate and how they talk in their messages is true. And what intrigued me about this is that our relationships as siblings are forged so early on and what we go through, how we love, how we protect each other, how we compete with each other lives on with us as adults and affects our relationships. So that was the starting point. I've been writing for over 30 years. I've published uh, 16 novels and my only little taste of a prize was early on in my writing career. I went in for the Shyvanapal travel writing competition, which the Spectator ran. And I submitted this piece on uh, living in Montevideo. And I came runner up to somebody called Hilary Mantel. <laughs> so this is my sort of first real uh, go at having a chance for a prize since then. So yeah, I'm thrilled.